Demystification is the ability to understand other people's mental states, thereby comprehending their intentions and affects. It is the ability to understand the mental state of oneself or others that underlies overt behavior. There are two major behaviors to be considered in relation to demystification. The first is the overt behavior, which can be easily observed by other people, and covert behavior, which is one that happens in the thoughts of a person. Covert behavior is the source of overt behavior. This is because before a person acts, he must first of all think of it in his heart or in his mind. The mystification could also mean mentalization, elucidation, expandation, explication, extrapolation, simplification, and disentanglement. In our everyday life, we are most times confused about the appearances of people. Sometimes we go as far as imagining a particular behavioral pattern a person should have based on their appearance, the position they occupy either in the church, in the office, in governance or so on. We usually become surprised and disappointed when they behave otherwise. This is the essence of this video, to enable us spot wolves that are in sheep clothing long before they are able to devour us. It is therefore important to understand people's words, actions and many other signs before they unleash their terror. Matthew 12 verse 34 says, You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Most times, you are able to know what people are thinking or at least something near to their thoughts through the words that comes out of their mouths. This is because their covert behavior, which is internal, is fully responsible for their overt behavior, which manifests later. Being able to decipher other people's thoughts through their actions is very essential as their words can easily be equated to their future actions. Some people are evil and yet pretend to be good. For Luke 6 verse 45 says, A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Some people usually manifest their covert or hidden behaviors in situations of stress, and you will find people saying they are just angry or sad or stressed out, but in reality that is their true color they are showing. Some people marry other people and later regret it when they begin to see something different from the initial character they know the person from. Some people have friends who are vipers but pretend that they are not in order to be able to destroy them. Therefore, as a good person, you are or you claim to be, it is necessary for you to watch people's words and actions, especially their actions, to know their true intentions in relation to you and other people close to you. For Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. As a human being created by God with a mind 
and so it is therefore very important to learn to control your thoughts and actions because what you say or do is exactly who you are we should however endeavor to ask for god's guidance over all our thoughts and desires so that we will not turn out to be bad people in thoughts words and actions one thing that should be noted is that thoughts are dynamic that is why we must learn to control our thoughts in a way to at least almost eliminate all the bad ones by letting only good and admirable thoughts dwell in us this way our character to the world outside will change for the better and even people around us we begin to believe that indeed God dwells in us. This will eventually create a positive impact and therefore make the world a better place. Thanks and God bless.